to my channel, Sabrina here, Psychic Medium, Shamanic Witch, and today I want to talk to you about magical powders because I have recently had to pull out one, um, as I'm showing you here, of the magical powders that I made years ago. If you can tell by the number of jars I have here, I sort of fell in love with the idea of magical powders. <clears throat> now, even though I have moved up to a better standard of living, a better living circumstance in a luxury apartment, it's well built and durable. It's well insulated. I have not, it maintains the temperature very well. And I have a car that is durable and long lasting. When those things are being used, they have to be maintained. So, you know, my star talisman has worked towards bringing me a better lifestyle, more, uh, luxurious in a way this is called a luxury apartment and I have a Toyota Camry even though it's an older model now the circumstances surrounding this are unique however I did not apply for unemployment right away because I kept being told that we were going back to work every two weeks so I have been patiently waiting for my retroactive unemployment, about six weeks worth of money coming to me. There's no reason why I shouldn't get it. I don't know why I haven't received it. So I've been trying to do magics to get that block released. And what I am going to have to do probably tonight before I go to bed and for the next couple of days and also on Tuesday is to carve the sigil of Mars anointed and put some magical powder at my altar. There's no other planet more closely associated with winning than Mars. And so that's on a Tuesday. Tuesday is when I normally get the payments. I got the first three weeks as I was filing. So, um, but now I have been wanting an extra 100 to 200 dollars, like cash, you know, somehow. What I did was I took this red pillar candle that I've been burning now for several days and sprinkled one of my powders. Now, years ago when I started reading books that I was being led to, about my fifth book was this To Light a Sacred Flame by Sa um, Silver Raven Wolf. And in the back, she's got a table of runes, which by the way, I spent an hour refreshing my runes. I'll show you a picture of those at the end here that uh, I'm going to be letting go and offer up for sale on my website. In the back here, she's got enchanted powders and a whole big list, maybe five or six pages. And I became enthralled because of the many uses of magical powders. Once you understand that it is our thoughts that start everything, everything starts on the mental plane, just like this star talisman has been working on my thoughts about how I feel about money and my financial security and what I really need to do in order to maintain a better lifestyle and you know have things that are better built and more durable and then work for them and I have been going to work but the wind 
and my allergies are driving me nuts. And I worked four days. The fifth day Friday assignment was canceled. And I just stayed home and I rested because I got impacted earwax, you know, and I was feeling so, so tired and achy. So today's Sunday and after two days of rest, <laughs> I'm feeling better and drinking more water and uh, getting more hydrated again. On uh, Thursday, Thursday night, I lit that candle. Come on, G. And I said, okay, I gotta have more money. I don't know how I'm gonna get it. You know, even if it's another hundred or two hundred dollars, somehow, you know, like in a couple of days. <laughs> oh, geez. So I took out my double fast luck incense. Now in those days, we uh, were scrambling for change and there was a yard sale just up the street in the mobile home park that we were living in at the time. And there were these beautiful empty powder jars in this driveway for this garage, not garage, but yard sale for 10 cents. And I ended up getting five for 50 cents. And I started creating my magical powders and putting them in this glass jar. In this way, I felt they were very special, and they are. You can attach your thoughts to these magical powders. And you can put them anywhere, in your shoes, under your bed, in a sachet under your pillow, in your car. Sprinkle them outside your front door. Um, as you know, recently I made several videos that are very popular on black salt. I sprinkled in front of my neighbor's door. And where is it? I think that's it. But I didn't get a chance to show you all that I have and, you know, how I got into this. So, yes, there's a variety of uses. Now, normally, they're supposed to be um, like the color of dirt so that you can sprinkle them on your hand, shake someone's hand. They're undetectable, right? However, there are some that you can add colors to, and most of mine are colored. They're primarily for me. If I wanted to sprinkle the fiery wall, in front of my house. I don't care if somebody sees that it's red. It's my house. If I want to put something green and sparkly in my car, it's for me. It's my car. It's for my protection. But if I wanted to sprinkle, of course, black salt in front of my neighbor's door, it needs to match the carpet in the hallway of the apartment complex. And because I put such a strong intent into it, I only needed a very small amount to brush off my hand onto the, you know, threshold or on the carpet in front of that neighbor's door. And that was just one thing that I did to help get rid of that bad neighbor. There were several other things that had to be done as well, but... Um, I, I had begun the process of making powders at my altar and I just kind of went crazy with it. I fell in love with it. And I have, as you see, I've got, this jar is empty. I don't know what it was, but it's all gone. <laughs> um, I might have transferred it into a bag. Let's see, this one. Yeah, I've still got plenty of this one. See, it's pink, healing heart, and what's this one? No, this is healing heart. This is nice. It's got this insert here. That's pink. 
I, I was working on my emotions at the time, so I would sprinkle this at the base of my candle on my altar when I lit a candle. This is something similar. What is this? Oh, this is the fiery wall of protection. And sprinkle that in front of my doors. Not a lot, just a little. And then angel powder. This worked incredibly well. You see it's a color. Incredibly well for me one evening. I actually had some type of an entity wake me up and speak to me in my mind and give me an answer. And then this one that I used the other day is my Double Fast Luck Incense Powder. And you can see it's kind of green. Can you see that? Let's see here. There we go. It's got that and then it's got this. Now, when I made uh, my Double Fast Luck Powder, I believe I did make it on a Thursday in the hour of Jupiter at my altar. And I went through the process. She gave a lengthy process of how to create these powders so that they would hold their energy for a long time. And uh, my intent, of course, is attached to them. Uh, they work with air. And so, yeah, when I have to, you know, maintain the car, maintain the house as far as utilities and uh, household cleaner, you know, dishwasher soap and laundry soap, then I sometimes need to pull out these things to assist me at my altar. You can use baby food jars I got from the dollar store. One of these I used at the uh, funeral of my familiar tabby. And I gave a little bit to each one of my children. This is Blended Trust. And this is Friendship. And they threw it on the grave and said, Rest in peace, Tabby. I love you. Goodbye. And this helped them have closure and, you know, throw something on their very... Uh, nice smelling and with their intent. You can save all kinds of jars for your magical powders. You can even put them in plastic baggies. These are ashes from incense. These are resins that you can grind up if you can afford to buy them and put them into your magical powders. Uh, which I highly suggest is something that you want to build up to over time. In the beginning, I had to use these inexpensive cones from the dollar store and grind them up and add glitter. But eventually you can even add things like gemstones. There's pyrite. Um, and then I made myself a psychic powder for me. Uh, there's a formula in here for making your own signature powder. And this is what I included in my altar kit that's on my website. I'm having trouble changing the price. I want to lower the price. I'm not able to do that because of the program that they've offered me right now at MailChimp. So I'd have to delete it and uh, redo it, you know, add the picture and add the typing and then add a new price. But I did include my own personal uh, private collection signature powder. It's purple with some gold flecks in it for psychism and that's what I would sprinkle around the base of a purple candle. So there's a lot of different formulas in here. Now for the double fast luck incense she said to burn a green candle. I don't know if I did guys Sometimes all I had was a tea light candle. And for me, finances was either uh, coming to me with a brown candle or a silver candle. But, you know, you'll have to try. This is for making the formula, burn a green candle. Dollar Tree's got a lot of these candles right now. 
This one's uh, just a green colored candle. They've got the Day of the Dead candles. Uh, but they didn't have any taper candles. Uh, when they did, I bought them. So I've got a red and a black here. She said to add green talc, patchouli, juniper berries, and a ground up dollar bill. Guys, I didn't use any of that. I think I burned a white tea light candle and I probably had to grind up what uh, some inexpensive rose incense and there's obviously something green here. Now I was using a coffee grinder so I might have ground up some rosemary, something green, you know, some some thyme, uh, whatever dried herbs we had probably in the cabinet. And then I added some glitter. Now I think glitter in hoodoo is to catch the attention of spirits. I believe there's some other tradition that says don't use glitter. It makes something, I don't know, toxic. I think that sometimes it comes down to what you believe. And if you want to attract spirit with something pretty, all I can tell you is it's worked for me, okay? It's worked for me. So, now that candle on Thursday night burned all night long. And I took this and I sprinkled it on top of the candle and all around the candle. And I took several pinches and said, I need money, I need money now. You know, I need like an extra 100 to $200. And then on Friday, the day of Venus, um, as the candle was sitting on my altar in the bedroom in front of Ganesha, I said, Ganesha, I need my unemployment money. I need money. For God's sakes, what's going on? Please, please help, I need money. And then I went to Oshun and I said, Oshun, Here's my phone, okay? This is my communication device and this is how I get called for work. And I need to pay for this phone bill this month. Please help me. And I sprinkled some more double fast luck. I said, you know, thank you, Oshun. And I went to bed. So Friday I stayed home and I rested. And it really wasn't until Saturday, I continued to let the candle burn. I would uh, curl the wax in on the sides, you know, and keep it going, keep it going. And it went Thursday night, Friday day, Friday afternoon, Friday, Friday night. Saturday morning, I got up, was putzing around for a while, and about 10 a.m., uh, had to take the cat box liturgy stuff out to the garbage. <laughs> And there, on top of the garbage, it wasn't, you know, full, full, were these rubber mats. And I went, wow, look at these rubber mats. They're clean and they look new. So I pulled one out. They were on top. There wasn't any gunk or garbage on them. And I pulled another one. And then I see another one. And there, there's another one. And I'm getting excited, you know. Then I see a big long thing and another long thing and I take what I can in the house real quick and I go back because I'm seeing in this big box a package and I'm like well what's in this box you know and I pull out another rubber mat and then there's this package unopened with more stuff in it and I'm thinking it's clean it looks new it's unopened you know and I pull it out and I can see their car mats. And so I carry all that in my hands and my arms, just, you know, a, a few feet away. The garbage is just a few feet away from the mailbox, which is just a few feet away from my door, my front door. And I go, oh my God, I can sell this stuff, you know? And I was having trouble finding out what it was based on the sticker but I have a barcode scanner on my phone. So I finally Saturday afternoon went out and I scanned it. 
and this was after um, I got up, I laid around, and I did a few things, and then I went to bed to take a nap because I was just feeling so, um, not feverish, but just drained, you know, and exhausted. It was my, I know it was my ear. I was having an earache. And I, so I thought, okay, I'll get up and I'll go scan it. And as soon as I scanned that barcode, it went to Google and the internet pulled it up right away based on the item number. And so then I found out, yeah, you know, four pieces of it alone are selling for $100. And with the fifth piece that goes in the back of the, uh, the, in the cargo area, of this this bubble type of car is the fifth piece now there's two sets there's I finally figured out because I didn't know what all this stuff was there's one set of rubber mats for the front and the back with no topper and then there's another set that is either a topper it's just the carpet with a rubber lining and then there's the one that goes in the back for the cargo area that has the rubber liner and then the carpet topper. That's called an assembly piece. Uh, so yeah, I'm um, trying to figure out exactly what the best place is for me to sell this and you know where to meet people. Um, if I have to ship it, if I go the route of eBay, how much to add for that so I've seen other people selling this and what price they're selling it for and how much they're charging for shipping whether or not I can get back on eBay I don't know uh, Facebook marketplace unfortunately people have a tendency to treat it like a garage sale and uh, yeah I mean if someone's in a hurry and they just want to get rid of it there's a guy on Craigslist selling a set of four mats, I believe, maybe five, for half of what he could get for it, like $50. And then on another website, there was um, $100 being asked, and it did sell for $100, and I believe it was either the four-piece, uh, the five-piece, I think, actually goes for more than that. So, I mean, I have the five-piece, now, so I mean, I, it could just take about, I don't know, around the end of the month when I get paid, hopefully that'll give me an extra $100 to $140 approximately that I, I need to pay the phone bill. Or, you know, pay part of the phone bill and then, you know, pay part of the Auto insurance, my auto insurance, that has to be paid. So that was a real blessing. Um, and my intent for Double Fast Luck was already on here. And then when I sprinkled it and made the request for some quick cash, and Friday is a good day for that. Venus is actually good for fast cash, guys. Uh, and then going out Saturday morning... Once again, you know, time and time again now, I'd say at least four to five times that I've experienced over the years in calling upon Venus, I have been able to uh, get what I want, either for the house or um, you know, in, in some way, get the cash or have a gift you know, or have the bill paid, or something, by calling on Venus, and by calling, uh, most recently, on Ganesha, and Oshun in particular, on Friday. So, yeah, um, there's a lot of substitutions. She's got, she's got a list of substitutions in here. Uh, I would definitely try to get Something similar, such as a green herb. Um, you could possibly use a red candle. 
because that relates to fast, strong movement, especially with, you know, it being the highest vibration color. So um, now I have here anger powder. That's something I made in the beginning. And commanding and controlling powder. Obviously, I, I keep these things for when I feel like I really need to pull them out. I actually did take some black salt and throw it towards a car that had been told not to park in my space and was still parking in my space. And then I call or spoke, texted the manager and told her, you know, they're still doing it. So she had to speak to them actually three times uh, to finally figure out who it was that was doing it and make sure that they were getting the message. And uh, yeah, so that stopped. I think I have, it's not recommended to use uh, talcum powder anymore, and you may know this. It's better really just to grind up some herbs that are the same color of what you need. And because she said don't use talcum powder, I was using whatever colored cones I could find that either had a matching color, brown or red or pink. And then, okay, sorry, I lost you there. That is basically what I wanted to talk to you about today. This is generally considered part of the hoodoo practice, but I think it really uh, relates to any magical practice. Uh, it can definitely be used as an incense to sprinkle on charcoal, to burn that way as well. And also for that reason, you don't want to use talc or talcum powder. So that is it. Uh, I would definitely read up on some of these. This one is confusion, which would have to be used in a very careful way. But if you want to encourage friendship or a healing heart or double fast lock, I would say it's a very good thing to have in your magical cabinet that you can pull it out and uh, yeah, draw upon the energies uh, like I did beginning on Thursday and then again on Friday. So that's it for today. Thank you very much and I will see you on the next video.